What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Before I start the video, I just wanted to give all my new subscribers a shout out. Thank you guys so much. Um, if you guys don't know, uh, my channel name is Kino. So my first name is Keen and all of my good buddies, my best friends call me Kino for short. So that is essentially my nickname. So Kino. So a lot of a lot of people call me Kino. So if you're wondering what the channel name is, that's the channel name. Um, so it's my nickname, Kino. But as you can see from the title of the video, BMW lied. And what am I talking about? I'm talking about the ZF transmission that comes in a lot of BMWs. So we're going to talk about what BMW lied about. And then we're going to talk about the ZF transmission tuning options and then how to properly maintain and take care of your ZF transmission because there's a lot of misinformation out there. So I want to make a video so you guys know how to take care of your ZF transmission in your BMW. Now before I get into it, you could apply this to every ZF transmission in every single manufacturer that uses the ZF transmission. So for instance, Dodge, Dodge uses the ZF transmission in their uh, Challenger, Chargers, their trucks. So this applies to those transmissions too, but let's get into it. All right, so BMW lied. And what exactly am I talking about? I'm talking about BMW, when you buy a BMW with a ZF transmission, they tell you, you do not have to service the transmission for the life of the car, which is a lie and that is false. If you go on ZF, the actual ZF engineering website who manufacture the transmission, they tell you, you need to use their specific fluid and you need to replace the, the whole pan assembly that has the filter, okay? You need to drain the transmission at a certain temperature when you're changing the fluid. But also, they state you need to service the transmission every 50 to 60,000 miles depending on your driving habits. So, if you're driving your car really hard and it's in hot climates or you're tracking it, and this kind of is how good this transmission is, there are a lot of guys that track BMWs with the eight speed ZF transmission and they've had no problems. And kudos to ZF Engineering for manufacturing such an amazing transmission because the, the thing is literally bulletproof. But what happens is we're starting to hear some issues from certain people. And then you find out they've never serviced the transmission because BMW told them ZF transmissions do not need to be serviced. And that is the first thing you have to do if you are an owner of a car that has a ZF transmission you need to make sure that you are servicing that ZF transmission every 50 to 60,000 miles. And again, if BMW tells you that you don't need to service the transmission, it um, is good for the life of the car, they are wrong. Tell them to go to the ZF engineering website and look at what they specify the service intervals for the transmission. So I don't know why BMW says you do not have to service the transmission for the life of the vehicle because that is wrong. So I do not know. Uh, I do not know why they would say that. Um, you know, it's beyond me. We would have to talk to BMW on why they state that. But again, when you go to service your ZF transmission every 50 to 60,000 miles, you have to use the ZF transmission gear oil, or at least I would highly recommend that. You have to get a new pan with the filter assembly in it, 
right? And then the shop has to drain the transmission at a specific temperature when they're draining the old fluid out. So if a shop says they service ZF transmissions all the time, make sure they do it the right way. Make sure they, it's not just a flush where they take out the old fluid and put new fluid in. No, they have to take out the assembly pan, they have to put it back in and then fill with new fluid at a certain temperature. So make sure you are servicing your ZF transmission. All right, on to a big topic that I've looked into a lot and that is tuning options for the ZF transmission. And specifically for me and the research I have done, the best tuning software that you can get for your ZF transmission is the XHP transmission software and it's a company obviously XHP located in Germany and this tune will do so much for your transmission and they have three options they have a stage one stage two and stage three and you guys should I highly recommend going on their website and seeing what each stage uh, does for your transmission but Specifically for me, I'm going to do this stage three transmission tune. And why is that? So the stage three tune can help with your launches when you're in launch control because you can engage the clutches at certain torque numbers at certain times. So like my car right now does not have the XHP tune. So if I'm in long, launch control and I go to launch, I get a lot of wheel spin. With the tune software on the transmission, that will not happen. And that's one of the huge benefits of the XHP tune for your transmission. The other part is a lot of people will ask, well, is the transmission tune reliable? Will it, will it affect my transmission? And the answer is no it won't affect your transmission and honestly it will make your transmission more reliable because a couple things when you tune your car when you tune your engine specifically and you running higher horsepower right your higher horsepower and re the real thing you got to focus on is the torque Okay, the torque is what really gets your transmission into trouble if you're not taking care of it. And what happens is these clutches will start slipping when you get to certain torque levels, right? And as the clutches slip, that causes more friction and then it wears out the clutches. And then pretty soon you're gonna have to get clutch packs. Now, that's not a huge thing that has happened in the BMW community, but that can happen if you're launching your car um, a lot or you're tracking it a lot or you're having a lot of downshifts. So that that's, that's one thing why you want the transmission tune is because two things. It raises the line pressure in your transmission so you have faster shifts, but it also makes your transmission clamp harder on those clutch packs so you have you're able to handle more torque in the transmission therefore there's not going to be a lot of slipping and your transmission is just going to feel a lot tighter and because of the extra clamping force on the clutches your transmission will actually function better and Part of the reliability question, and this is one question I had for XHP when I was looking at the, the tune, and I was like, you know, okay, the line pressure is gonna be higher, and then the clamping force on the clutches is gonna be more. I feel like that's gonna be harder on all the mechanisms on the, on the transmission because it's, you know, it's trying harder. But what you have to understand is when the engine in your BMW sends a signal 
to your transmission, it's sending a signal on how much torque the engine is gonna bring to the transmission. So these sensors send the information to the transmission and then the transmission will clamp down on the clutches whatever amount that the engine tells it to. Or, you know, it kind of works like that. So let's say you're just in normal driving mode. Your transmission is not clamping really hard. It's at stock clamp levels and line pressure when you're just driving around. So when you have the XHP tune on your transmission, when you're driving around, it's normal clutch clamping force, it's normal line pressure. But when you go to step on it, now that you have your transmission tuned, when you step on it, now the clamping force will go up and it will clamp harder, the line pressure will be more, so you get better response from your transmission and you get quicker, sharper shifts. So that's how the tune works. So it's not always clamping the clutch really, really hard. So when you're in normal driving modes, it's clamping like it would be in stock, normal line pressures like stock, but those parameters only change when you step on it because that tune wants to make sure that you're getting the fast shifts and you're getting the maximum clamp force on the clutches so you don't have any slippage problems. So that's how the tune works. Okay, and so for the last part, how do you properly maintain and take care of your ZF transmission? And we already talked about how to service it, so that is very important. You always wanna service your transmission. But how do you take care of your transmission? And what do I mean by that? So when you start your car in the morning, if you're a car person and you love your car, you always let your car warm up. And why do you do that? Because you want the oil pressure to get up to operating, uh, a, a safe operating parameter but you also want to get the oil flowing in the engine so everything's lubricated and nothing happens um, and you get metal on metal contact and that goes for your transmission as well and when you are driving your car and let, let's say you just started your BMW it's in the morning and let's say it's cold and you warmed up your car, right? And your car's warmed up, the temperature gauge is going up a little bit, so oh, you think your car's warmed up and ready to go. So you put in sport mode. Well then, you're coming out of your neighborhood and you go and step on it, and then, you know, your ZF transmission has not really warmed up at all because it's in a closed case. There is no, uh, oil or coolant running from the engine to the transmission to warm it up. It's a enclosed case. The only way you warm up your ZF transmission is to get the gear oil through it and warmed up. And so the most important thing that you do with your ZF transmission is make sure it's warmed up too, just like your engine. Because like all of us, you know, we, we think we can just, you know, start a car let it warm up for a minute and then you know rip it down the road and whatever and you can do that but you hear stories about people that don't warm up their cars and they flog on it and then they throw a bearing or you know they do something to the the valves in their in the heads like i've heard so much stuff and the one thing you'll find out is if you kind of have aggressive driving habits when the transmission is cold. Like you'll get that lunge feeling, it's not gonna be responsive, it's kind of um, behaving weird, like it's lunging a little bit. And so you just, before you start driving your car aggressive, you know, I would highly recommend driving around for 15 minutes before you get on it because you need to let that gear oil get through the transmission get it warmed up to operating temperatures just like the engine and then go for it. So 
If you do those three things, your transmission will last a long, long time. So service your ZF transmission every 50 to 60,000 miles. Okay, if you don't believe me and you wanna listen to BMW, you're probably gonna have transmission problems later on down the road. So listen to me, listen to ZF Engineering who actually engineered and built the transmission. Service your transmission every 50 to 60,000 miles, okay? Make sure the shop knows how to properly service the ZF transmission. A lot of shops don't service it. They just do a, a flush and fill. Do not do that. You need to take the pan assembly out with the filter, put a new one in, right? Make sure that the seal, because sometimes there's like a there's like a feeding solenoid that can leak, so you need to replace that. Um, it's just a little filter with a like a washer thing that you need to make sure it's functioning properly, and fill it with the proper gear oil. Okay, so really make sure that the shop knows how to service the ZF transmission properly. Okay. Third thing, the tune. If you're running high power. If you have a turbo kit, you have a stage two tune or stage two, uh, two uh, if you have a stage two plus tune, make sure that you get the XHP transmission tune because that will save your transmission. Like I said, it'll raise the line pressure, it will raise the clamping pressure of your clutches and your transmission will literally shift as fast as a dual clutch transmission. It shifts so incredibly fast, it's amazing. And again, the last point, make sure that you take care of your transmission. Let it warm up before you go hard on it. And if you do those three things, that transmission will never let you down. But um, anyway, guys, I hope this video helps. I hope, um, you know, it kind of taught you guys a few things about the ZF transmission. There's a lot of crap out there on the transmission. These transmissions have gone through the gauntlet with track cars and never had a problem. So these transmissions are solid. They're really good. I've never had a problem, knock on wood. But make sure you service your transmission and take care of it. So anyway, guys, I hope you liked that video. Give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks.